What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, we're in the kitchen. We're actually gonna do a catch cook from the owner that we caught the other day. If you wanna see that video, it's right there. Uh, but in the kitchen today, we have Alicia. She's actually gonna do our, her specialty, I always hear talk about in her videos, the Chinese style Ono, or just Chinese style, any type of fish steamed. Uh, so we're gonna do that right now. Uh, let me go outside and actually cut the fish. We'll bring it back in here and we'll put Alicia to work. Are you ready? Are both of you ready? Okay, here we go. All right, let's get in the kitchen. First, we're gonna prepare the sauce for the fish. We're using about a pound of fish and we're gonna make our sauce based on that. If you're using more fish, then you're gonna need to put, make more sauce or less. We like to put a lot of vegetables in ours, so we make more sauce. So we're gonna start by mixing the sauce. Uh, we have one cup of low sodium shoyu. I like to use low sodium. We have a quarter cup of sesame seed oil. We have three tablespoons of brown sugar. And we have two tablespoons of sweet mirin. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mix it till the sugar completely dissolves. So we have about, about a pound of fish here. It's filleted off the center bowl. We like to do it this way, uh, so it's easier to eat. We're just gonna season it with a little salt. So we have four bunches of bok choy here. It's probably like four to five stems in each bunch. We um, like a lot of vegetables, so we use a lot. If you don't like as many, then you don't have to use as much. But that's why we have all that sauce. We like to lay it on the bottom of the pan of, so it, one, the fish doesn't stick, two, it kind of acts as like a, a steaming element for the, the fish. Kind of just turn it the other way. Also, I like to put the ginger. So we have two cups of ginger here. Um, it depends, like I say, if you don't like ginger, you don't have to use ginger. If you like a lot of ginger, you can use a lot. This is two cups. Um, this is uh, chopped, and this was grated. So I like to use a grated one for the top. So we're gonna just use this coarsely uh, chopped one for the bottom. So now we're going to lay out the fish, just lay it down. You could probably put more fish if you want to. We're going to pour the sauce in. So we're going to add our finely grated ginger to the top of the fish. Like I said, you don't have to use all of it. If you like to use less, that's up to you if you don't like ginger. 
And then we use uh, cilantro. This is one bunch chopped. We're probably going to use about a half of that. So we're going to cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes depending. We're using a white fish so if it's not done cooking, pop it in for a little bit longer. We're going to cover it now so it steams in the sauce. So our fish is almost done cooking. We're going to put the rest of the cilantro and the ginger on the fish. When it comes out, we're going to heat the peanut oil up. The peanut oil um, amount is up to you. It's how much you want to use, how much cilantro you put on. You're going to heat up that much peanut oil. And we're going to heat it up till right before it smokes, of course, so that once we pour it on the cilantro and ginger, it actually cooks it. So earlier we used half a bunch of cilantro to cover it and cook it. Now we're going to use about a bunch of cilantro, one bunch chopped we like a lot of cilantro on ours this part's really dangerous the oil is starting to smoke so we're gonna pour it on our cilantro on our fish okay Get it all over. Probably better to make sure cilantro is really dry before you put it on your fish so it doesn't splatter like that. So we have here just a scoop of rice with a rice seasoning. It has nori sesame seeds. It's called furukaki. That's just something my pregnant self wants to eat right now. So I'm just going to grab a piece of fish here. I really like the bok choy, so you can just plate that. Gonna get some of the sauce on here. This is my favorite part now, so now let's try it. I like to get a little bit of everything on there. Really good. Mm. One more bite. <laughs> We're up a hungry too. Mm, that's really good. Mm. Thanks for hanging out with me in the kitchen today. As always, tight line, safe fishing. Until next time, I'll see you in the kitchen.